Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the security tricks on the Vivo V60 Lite. Okay, let's open up the settings. Now, scroll down until you find security and privacy. Let's begin with that. Uh, let's select device unlocking first and let's select our screen lock. So select the first option. Now we have three types of the lock screen pattern pin or complex password. It's up to you which mode you liked most. In my case, I'll select the pattern. When it comes to pattern, we have those nine dots and to create a pattern, we need to add, uh, connect at least four of them. So simply create your pattern. If you would like to try again, simply click on clear. If you want to save, click on next and now rejoin your pattern to confirm. Click on okay, click on done. And now our lock screen has been set. We can also add the fingerprint and also the face unlock. I'll show you the fingerprint. Simply tap on that. Now verify yourself by typing the screen lock. Now click on enroll now. Click on agree. And now you can see that uh, on the bottom edge we have this icon. It's our sensor. And now we need to place our finger on it. When we feel a vibration, we need to lift it up and then put it again and simply repeat that process until your fingerprint will be registered. It's going to take a few tries, so simply be patient and keep repeating the process. You can also try to place your finger from different angles. Okay, fingerprint added. If you would like to, you can also add another one. To save, click on done. Uh, also, if you want, you can also change even the style of the uh, fingerprint unlock in here you have all possible modes for example let's select that one to change it hit on apply really easy thing okay uh, and when it comes to the face unlock it is really similar uh, all you need to do is to click on enroll now then place your face inside of a frame that will appear in the middle of the screen and wait until your face will be registered really easy thing okay so now let's try how it works let's begin with the screen lock first Simply draw it, boom, the phone gets unlocked. Really cool thing. And now the fingerprint, simply place it, and the phone also unlocks. And now, from here, let's go straight into account security. Mm, when it comes to the Google account, everything is fine. It's always good to check, is everything okay? If something will be wrong, simply follow the instruction on the screen. And we also have the Vivo account security, but when it comes to me, I'm not even logged in, so... Uh, there's nothing I can do uh, in here. If you want, of course, you can create that Vivo account. Uh, now let's go into app security and let's perform a security scan. Click on agree. It's going to check for potential threats. Okay, everything is secured, so that's good to see. Uh, simply from time to time, you can perform that scan also manually in search of potential threats. Now let's go into system and updates. It's always good to have the latest version of our software. Let's click on Google Play system update because I think that I have an update possible to download. Yeah, uh, to download it, hit this button. Uh, after that, uh, you might need to restart your device to complete the update. Uh, I won't do it right now because I want to show you some other things. Uh, but if you have that possibility, you should do this ASAP. Okay, now let's click on security update. And in here also, I can download and install the update. I will do it later in my case. Okay, now another cool thing is find my device feature. When it's enabled, we can locate our device using find my device app or find my device web. But you need to remember about one thing. To use this feature, let's say that our uh, Vivo uh, will be lost and we want to use Find My Device uh, app or web. Uh, I'll open up the web for now. Mm. And now you need to sign in into the Google account on which you were logged in on your Vivo. Otherwise, if you log in into wrong account, you won't see your uh, phone right in there. So let's... Mm. Uh, I will sign in into the Google account and now you can see the list of devices that are uh, connected with this account. In here we have our Vivo and for example we can remotely uh, lock it. Now, currently those option doesn't appear because I'm using this device. So for example I'll show that on the Nubia. 
uh, you can remotely secure your device and also even perform a factory reset so no one uh, unwanted will get uh, access into your data pretty cool thing really worth enabling uh, we also have the remote lock we can enable that uh, if you want to use it you need to have your uh, sim card inserted or eSIM activated and now how it works if your device gets stolen or lost simply visit that page uh, and then simply type your mm, phone number and your device will be locked so also no one uh, no unwanted people uh, will get access into our data okay let me get back into security and privacy uh, now under most security settings uh, we have the and uh, not the extent unlock that's not that let's get back because i think that will be in here yeah we have the app hiding for example uh, we need to enter our privacy password we can also of course change the password type uh, for now let's select for example four digit uh, in here basically you create a password first so do it and now you have two security questions uh, you can pick uh, the question from that list or select a custom one down below now type your answer for both questions then click on next to save it uh, you can add security mail address you can do it right now or do it later it's up to you uh, and now when hidden the app will not show up on the home screen the recent apps interface or some app list and you will not receive new messages from this app uh, now uh, we need to select how to how we want to get access uh, into hidden apps mm. let's select swipe up with two figures on home screen to view hidden apps uh, and now in here we have a list of all of our apps that we can hit uh, so for example let's try to hit mm, maybe youtube music it's right in here in this folder as you can take a look and now let's try to uh, hide it so mm, let's go into app hiding uh, we can also turn on the fingerprint unlock as a method pretty cool thing okay let's enable that click on confirm and as you take a look it disappeared from the google folder and now uh, the only way to get access to it is by uh, sliding uh, your fingers with two fingers to the upside okay now verify yourself and in here we can find our hidden apps pretty cool thing okay but for now mm, i want to turn it off i mean the uh, youtube music i'm just showing you how you can do it okay uh, next thing uh, let's open up the i manager in here we can also perform a security scan quickly instead of each time opening up the settings it's a really cool thing uh, and uh, we have the app encryption uh, which will be under uh, utility tools let's click on app encryption uh, and now we can lock our apps so let's try to lock chrome for example and now when someone will want to open it up boom chrome is encrypted and the only way to get access to it to open this app is by typing or the password or by using your fingerprint really really cool feature and i really uh, recommend you to try it on your own mm, i think that's all when it comes to that uh, to the coolest security features uh, we can also change the app lock time mm, after the screen is locked after the screen is locked or app is closed or one minute after the screen is locked or app is closed you just need to simply uh, select which mode uh, you like uh, most uh, but for a second i'll get back into the settings and security and privacy so i'll just make sure that i didn't skip anything uh what's the privacy password actually ah oh, that's when it comes to mm, app hiding okay it doesn't matter okay uh, if you click on how and when to hide apps in app hiding uh, you can select hide when locking the screen or hide after a period of inactivity if you click on that you can select the uh, frequency 
after five minutes, after one minute, hide now, or the rest of those possible modes. All right, and that's all in this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.